everybody, welcome back to Adina Vlog. Happy holidays and happy 2013. I'm your host, Josh Sprague, with Adina Realty in Edina, Minnesota. I have a great show for you to kick off the new year here. We've got a tour of a neighborhood just off of the creek in 54th Street, a great little pocket neighborhood. I have an interview with local builder Eric Nelson of Refined. I interview with sales manager of the 6800 Adina Realty office where we'll talk more about the Adina housing market. And of course, market news and our Facebook question of the week. So come along. So our first neighborhood tour for 2013 is a great little pocket neighborhood. It's kind of an extension of Minnehaha Woods, so let's call it East Minnehaha Woods. Uh, it, it's bounded by 54th Street, Minnehaha Creek, France Avenue, and basically Abbott. Um, about 100 homes. Average sale price here varies because this is one of those pockets where you're seeing a lot of teardown. So new construction going anywhere from 900 to 1.2, 1.3 million. Teardowns in the three to 500 range. And then you have houses built in 2004, 2005 that are in that mid range, seven to 800,000. Um, in terms of the turnover, about five to six homes a year. Uh, but again, people are flocking to this section of Edina. It's great walking. There's natural resources and beauty all around you. And of course, you're in the number one school district in the state. Uh, Edina. So, um, charming storybook, again, 1920s-esque homes. I say that because the new construction homes that are being built are kind of mirroring this old cottagey, one and a half story type of look that you'll find not only in this neighborhood, but also in South Harriet Park and Colonial Grove and some of these other wonderful East Edina neighborhoods. So, um, a great place to be, again, if you'd like to be near the 50 in, in France and all the amenities that are here in Edina. So on to our Facebook question of the week and of course for the beginning of the year I have to ask what is your number one planned remodeling project? Um, I got a variety of answers, no uh, clear majority here, which is good. It's good to know people are doing different things in their houses. I heard basement, I heard whole house, I heard kitchen, and I also heard energy efficiency projects. All of those are great equity builders. Um, another one that wasn't mentioned, of course, is bath remodel. Um, so those are kind of the spaces that people are looking for uh, when they're getting into a new house. So uh, thanks everybody for participating both in 2012 and in 2013 in my Facebook question of the week. So let's catch you up on the market news and the uh, year end report for 2013. Uh, Overall in the Twin Cities, the biggest thing is a reduced or restricted supply. We had 20,000 listings in the greater Twin Cities area in 2011, down to about 12,000 by the end of 2012. So uh, we're still in a very restricted supply environment. Demand has been increasing. I can tell you in Edina last year, closed sales were up 36%. That is incredible for one year. So we're closing many more units. Uh, the new listings are about the same year over year. So again, a tightened supply, increased demand, and of course you'd expect median price to be stabilizing and or increasing. Take a look at the charts here. You'll see that median price in Edina went up 1%, actually 1.4% year over year, which doesn't seem like a lot, but uh, given the housing recession itself, we are one of the first markets to have recovered on price. Now take a look at this slide. This will give you a little more insight. Uh, it compares the different property types. Here you'll see that single family on the left rose 4.8% over last year. So almost 5% increase in prices. Again, that is part of the dynamics of having this restricted supply and an ever increasing demand for not just Edina, but the Southwest region in general. So good things on the horizon for 2013. I expect this appreciation to continue and hopefully we'll have a thaw in the supply end of the spectrum. Luckily for Dyna Realty, we do have a whole nother database called Network One. It's available for buyers who can't find things on the MLS. You just find a Dyna Realty agent. They can turn you on to this whole other database of pre-MLS and non-MLS listings available. So um, that's the market news for January. Hey Eric. Hey Josh, how you doing? Good, good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for having us uh, out here today. Uh, this is Eric Nelson with Refined LLC, a local builder here in Edina. And I stopped by today because I wanted to check out your, your house, which is beautiful, but also to get a little bit of insight into the local new construction market. Fantastic. Let's go have a chat. All right. So Eric, tell me a little bit about your company. Fantastic. Well, um, I started Refined LLC uh, four years ago, Okay. and we've been building homes in Edina, specifically East Edina and Southwest Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. um, we build about 10 custom-designed homes a year. 
with clients and we really focus on the interior design and exterior design of the home, really trying to work through space planning, um, how people live, what rooms they want, taking advantage of the views from the house mm -hmm. and the aesthetic. And we're really working with a lot of clients where we're combining in today's world some of the traditional values that you've seen in the 30s and 40s to mo more modern floor plans and a modern style, kind of use the transitional style in okay. homes. So they, they like to be rooted in the classic but with, with modern amenities, so Correct. to speak. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And so what, what are some, some of the new th things people are looking for, new spaces? I mean, we've, we've done some space planning with clients, and you guys, I believe you truly are the best at that. But uh, I know there's the first floor office, the mini office, and things. Just talk a little bit about that. Sure. I mean, I think today's buyer is looking for kind of an open floor plan, open kitchen, great room concept. Mm -hmm. The formal dining room is kind of 50-50. A lot of people kind of like more of an open dining room integrated with the kitchen and mm -hmm. the great room. And then you mentioned the office. People are kind of going away from the traditional office of that 15 by 12 room to more of a pocket office near the kitchen to work with the family. Um, so it's not necessarily four walls. And it's not necessarily 20 by 20 or 15 by 20. It's more of a, a, a micro version of that. Right. With today's technology today, people are more paperless than they yep. used to be. So yep. they're able to work electronically in smaller space. They don't need the big couch, the big file cabinets and everything to, to hold a lot of that information. And then what about upstairs? I've, I've heard uh, clients talking a lot about wanting three baths up, not that hallway bath in the master, but they also kind of want either a Jack and Jill or, or bedrooms en suite with the yep. bathroom right in. Yeah, I would say, you know, 50% of our clients um, are looking for that um, Jack and Jill and the three-quarter bath and maybe even 20%, up to 70% are looking for three baths up, but they're all in suites. So that's okay. a real popular thing today, having a bathroom in each bedroom. And then downstairs, I know, of course, there's the old standby, the amusement room. Got to have a place for the kids to go. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but what else are you seeing downstairs? Well, Any other interesting kind of yeah, rooms? I mean, you know, exercise room is okay. interesting. The wine cellar, people are looking for some type of a wine cellar, even if it's smaller. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be temperature controlled, but they're looking for some type of wine cellar down there. Yep. Um, you know, storage is always still really, really key. Big, but yep. it's really important to spatially plan within what's usually about a 1,400 uh, square foot footprint is to get that bedroom, an exercise room, a great room, a bar area, and a little wine cellar. That's kind of the popular layout. Okay. And your interiors, which are just absolutely fabulous. Thank you. Um, who, who's in charge of that part of the design? Um, Andy and I work with an interior design firm. We work with a couple firms locally here that help us uh, you know, work with our clients to put the interior together. So the fit and finish. Yep. And who, who are a couple that you work with? Um, Martha O'Hara Interiors would be okay. one, and then Studio M Interiors would be another. Those are the two main groups that we work with. I find that that really sets your product apart because it's just so thoughtful and it's very now in terms of the design and the finish. So, um, and it's a, it's a refined palette yes. to coin a phrase. Yes. <laughs> um, so then the last thing I want to talk to you about is, so Edina has had a record year for teardowns, but as I know, working in this region, it's not just Edina, it's also Southwest Minneapolis. What are you finding is driving the clientele to these areas? Um, it's the walkability primarily. It's being close to 50th in France or 44th in France and Linden Hills and the lakes. People want the... They have an active lifestyle. They mm -hmm. want to be close. They want to be able to get out and walk to things like coffee shops and restaurants. So that's a big driver as well, being close to downtown. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, is that, you know, when you build a home here too, it's a great investment. Yeah. Um, and certainly with Edina and the Edina schools, that's a great investment. So that's a big driver for our clients as well. And then also Southwest Minneapolis, just across the border, yeah. you've got uh, Southwest High, which the International Baccalaureate Program is top in the state. You've got Lake Harriet Fantastic. Elementary School yeah. in that little pocket. So that could be a driver on both sides of the border. Um, and then also, to me, it seems like they love these storybook neighborhoods because the product you guys are building so sensitively is uh, the style that's, that mimics the neighborhood. It's the 1920-esque, as I call right, it, right. type of design that's timeless on the outside, but then filled with the modern on the inside. Correct, that's really important, is to blend the architecture with the existing neighborhood from a size, scale, and mass is really critical mm -hmm. to fit into that neighborhood and, and keep the charm, if you yeah. will. Well, you guys are doing a great job. Keep up the good work, and I we'll wish do. you the best of success in 2013. Right. Likewise, you too. Thanks, Josh. So we're here at my office in the Dyna Realty 6800 France. On the first floor here, we've got the title office, and then upstairs is the real estate office. We're going to talk with Jeff Schumann. Just to let you know, this is where all the magic happens. So, come on. 
So I'm here actually in my office, which is a pleasure to be filming in, with our sales manager, Jeff Schumann, from the Edina Realty 6800 France office. Thank you so much for being with us today. <laughs> Happy to do it, Josh. Uh, we're here to give insights to the viewers on the uh, housing market here at Edina. Um, yeah. And I looked on our market share report, and it looks like Edina Realty had 38% of all closed transaction sides in the Edina housing market in 2012 which is amazing. Yeah. That follows off of a very strong 2011. I think we had 39% of the market. So almost half of the entire market is being done by this company. That's one of the reasons I came to Adina Realty. But yeah. I wanted to hear from you today about what you think uh, makes Adina Realty stand out in the marketplace and why we get such wonderful results. Well, you know, one of the things that I think is most impressive about you talking about the uh, the market share at 38% is it's been there year in and year out. You know, mm -hmm. we uh, just announced at the expo last week that uh, uh, we're sitting with uh, 13 consecutive years now at number one. For the state? Uh, for the entire uh, uh, metro area. Oh, for the metro. Yeah, well, I'm, well, I can't imagine it's not statewide, but, but the specific numbers that are tracking are, are yeah, for the uh, for the metro area. and. And it's, it's an amazing thing because if you think about it, that's six of the toughest years in real estate and six of the strongest years in real estate. True. And regardless of what the market's been doing, we press through. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people ask me all the time, you know, why? You know, what is it about Adina Realty? How come you guys, you know, keep keep growing and keep uh, increasing and holding that market share? And, and you know, it's, it's easy for me to be, you know, it's our agents. I mean, that's the first thing we fall back to, yep. um, you know, which in this case seems like, you know, a little bit of pandering to say it. But, I mean, the truth is, and you know it, you know, the, the first thing that, that the agents turn to is is the networking, the yeah. fact that they get to turn to each other. You're talking about working with the best agents in a specific marketplace mm -hmm. um, that they, they know the clients, they know the buyers, and they share information really, really well together. Mm -hmm. And I think that makes a profound difference when you're trying to put deals together. So, Especially in this type of market where we went from 20,000 listings to 12,000 listings yeah. at the end of 2012. Um, now more than ever, we need people to be finding upcoming inventory and getting that information to our buying clients uh, ahead of the release to the market. Once it gets on the market, it's just slim picking. There's a lot of competition for very few listings. Right. When you think about our ad campaign a few years ago, you know, we help buyers and sellers find each other. Yeah. And that's the heart of it. You know, it's it's finding the clients that want to buy a home and finding the clients that want to sell a home and putting them together. And not only have we worked really, really well to do that, just, you know, behind the scenes at meetings and at uh, uh, events and, and just around the office and things like that. But as you know, we've invested really high in technology on that um, with things like uh, uh, Network One, which just got a big overhaul in itself. And, and for those that don't know, you know, Network One is, is a, it's a tool that's designed specifically and exclusively for Dyna Realty that helps you and other agents network properties that are not on the market yet or buyers that are, haven't found that property yet. Um, and I think the stat that was thrown out today was they think in close to you know 25% of uh, our sales in the area here uh, were done not even out of through the database. MLS, just yeah. by talking to people and then kind of building off of it. So Out of our own internal database, 25% of the sales, yeah. Which is a staggering number to think about, it really is, but it just shows that you know when you're committed to that networking, you can bring deals together a lot faster. And this is stuff that was never even on the market. Yeah. You know, it's, it's amazing to think about, so. Yeah. Well, that's the first thing I do when I get a new buying client. I'll look in the MLS. I'll see, you know, seven listings in their area. And then I'll go into our own proprietary database, Network One, and I'll find them some additional inventory possibilities. And I think people appreciate that. This is the kind of market where we're adding value by, by finding that inventory. You know, and then on top of that, established agents are going to have their own listing inventory, their own pocket inventory coming up. So that gives us three separate sources for that one buyer, to me that's value added. Well, and any time that you can just get them talking then and sharing that information, that's where deals come together. You know, it's not enough to just have it on yourself, you've got to have someone else that found that other component and brought it together. So now let's talk about the technology side, because yeah. that's one thing that, you know, when I was at other companies, my, I, I conceded to my buyers, I said, I, I'll know you'll be searching on a dynarealty.com, <laughs> but that's fine, we all share the same inventory. But, you know, we've always been ahead of the curve on the consumer. Um, tell me a little bit more about the tools out there um, that put us at a competitive advantage. Well, you know, the technology next to our network is probably that one thing that we are just the proudest of. And, mm -hmm. and, we, and we have for years been a strong proponent and we've been deeply committed to pressing that. And we saw it for years with the Adina Realty website. Um, and, I mean, what you're saying is something that we've known for a long time. We get the huge uh, lion's share of Minnesota traffic, they, they turn to us. To almost to half the of the entire web well, traffic. I would almost say, I think when you take just those in Minnesota, it, it pushes into the 80 percentile in 
terms wow. of the number of people that are actually doing searches on edinarealty.com for properties. Wow. It's, it's staggering, it really is. Uh, and and, and well-deserved. I mean, it's a website, as you know, they're never content with. They're always evolving, right. they're always enhancing. Um, they want to make it a better and better consumer experience. And so not just the fact that it's been as dominant as it has for as long as it has, but the number of changes that we've seen come through it in that entire time, it's really impressive to watch. And, and nowadays, we're moving straight into the tablet. You know, tablet starting, and mobile platforms, oh, yeah. Which I think, you know, you go back four years ago, and I think it was like 0.01% of the population was doing searches for homes on that. Now it's almost 25% of the searches are beginning on tablets. Wow. So to be able to move into this and, and you know, again, with rollouts, just being able to roll out this, this incredible new app for the iPads coming out for Google, the iPhone, um, so you'll have it for Android and iOS. Okay, so tell us a little bit. Is it called the Edina Realty app? Yep. Okay. And, well, and we've had apps before, yep. but we invested heavily. We really wanted to bring the best consumer experience, and we wanted to help people look at houses the way they want to look. Mm -hmm. And so what it allows you to do is it allows you to you know, pull up properties specifically around you. You can pull by map function. You get to easily look at photos, pull up data. Everything is just at... at uh, you know, the swipe, which Intuitive is what the tablet's been known yep. for. Yep. And we really wanted to focus on photos. We know that this is how people look at properties. They want to see the pictures. They want to see them big. They want to see them where uh, they're clear, and they want to be able to navigate them quickly. And so it was one of the first things that came out to me when I was looking at it. I thought, oh, this is just incredible how fast you can look at those photos mm -hmm. and how much information you can take in. So it really starts to change the experience and the dynamic. Um, and it's going to be a big advantage for our, for our clients, I think. Well, it's important for us to know as listing agents uh, and to my clients out there and potential clients, get your house properly prepared. This is one of the most important steps. And the reason why is everything is um, motivated by the pictorial image. It's the photo that motivates people. And they're swiping through these things so quickly, you only have a second to get that consumer's attention. So the staging, the photography has to be spot on. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't agree more. I really couldn't. So, any anything else you want to say about the Dyna Realty Advantage? Um, you know, just that. I guess the bottom line, it's it's been a privilege. I mean, it really has. It's something that we've enjoyed. It's something we look forward to. I and mean, we want to make it 14 years in the market, and 15, and 16, and and we want to keep doing everything we can for the clients. And, and candidly, as long as we have people like you, I think uh, we're going to be in good hands. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Well, I, I know for, I was. We had a, a CEO talking today at our Rotary Club, and he said. The companies that are centered on the consumer and they do everything based on the, on the consumer and focus on the consumer and what they're looking for are the companies that survive and, and flourish and clearly Adina Realty is in that camp. So yeah, I, I appreciate more. your time. Josh, thank you so much for having me. It's been really fun. Wow, what an amazing way to start out 2013. Uh, thank you so much to Eric Nelson from Refined and Jeff Schoen from Adina Realty for giving us that vital market information. Uh, I'm looking forward to a great 2013 selling season, not only in the Adina housing market, but in the Twin Cities housing market in general. Uh, thank you to all my viewers and loyal fans out there, and uh, I'll see you next time here on Adina Vlog. <laughs>